Now, a lot of people message me on Instagram and Twitter asking for some feedback on their Shopify stores. And I often find myself saying the same thing to hundreds of people at this point. So I am making this video today to help everyone who's watching and tell you how you can actually make money drop shipping. And essentially, these are things that you should not be doing that I see people doing far too often. And they are simple things, most of them, some of them are a bit more complex, but I'm going to be breaking as many things down in this video and speaking from experience if you're doing any of the things I mentioned you should probably stop because they are not going to help you and some of you might think the things I'm going to mention are pretty simple and logical that you shouldn't do anyway but believe it or not people do them now just before we do get started if you guys are new around here make sure to subscribe as many of you may already know I do have a Google Ads agency so if you need help launching or scaling your business through Google just drop me a message on Twitter or Instagram or definitely Definitely love to help you and I'll also leave links to my Twitter and Instagram in the description down below now the very first thing is to not sell trademarked products like I said earlier it is almost a given and a logical thing that you should not be doing this for the various obvious reason you could find yourself in a bit of legal trouble in a court case or a lawsuit something along those lines and the reason I've put this in this video is someone messaged me on Instagram this morning asking me to go over their website just to have a you know get my opinion on it to see whether or not it looks any good and if you guys want me to do that honestly just drop me a message I do reply to everyone I'm always happy to give a bit of feedback to you lot this guy showed me his website sent me the link and I hopped on it and if you are watching this video do not make this same mistake again what this guy did he had a website I'm not going to reveal the products but basically it was a website where he was selling Pokemon themed items and as well as a few other items related to other cartoon TV shows but Pokemon being the one that stood out for me and every single product on his store was trademarked in some way whether it was Pokemon or you know another TV show like I mentioned so I said to this guy you should probably stop you could get sued now this is not the first time someone has come to me with a website link asking me for a bit of feedback and they are also doing similar things it is a very logical thing a lot of you probably know not to do but I'm putting it in this video just to make every single one of you aware please do not do this it will not end well moving on to another thing and this is to do with product imagery a lot of people again similarly send me their website links and some of the product images people are using are absolutely dreadful what I mean by this they've still got the AliExpress watermarks over them they've got pieces of text just dotted around that make absolutely no grammatical sense for example if someone is selling a phone or a phone case they might have a product image with their phone like this and then a white background and about 10 different arrows pointing at the phone with different features and that would be their main product image that is not a good product image on your website it's not a good image to use on Google Facebook Twitter Instagram when you're promoting your product and I believe this particular thing comes down to just pure laziness dropshipping is a business model especially now that takes time it takes effort it takes dedication you're not going to succeed by copy and pasting Aliexpress product descriptions just copying the images you see from the very very first supplier you find. Now there's nothing wrong with using your supplier's images. Even on my own stores, a few of my products, I still use images that the factories or the manufacturers have supplied me with because they are really good and they are of very high quality. But if you think you're onto a winner with a product, but the images just aren't quite there, why not order the product yourself? We've all got an amazing camera phone in our pockets that you can use to take brilliant pictures with. And then you're not just limited to the two or three images that are shown on AliExpress. You could take hundreds of different pictures with your product showing different angles to it. You can make videos with it as well. So there is no harm in ordering your product, waiting a couple of weeks for it to arrive to shoot your own content. That is what I do with most of mine. So do not be lazy with this particular area because the people that do put in the effort are the ones that are gonna succeed over you. Now, next up is ads. This particularly is for the Facebook ad people, Google ad people and TikTok ad people. Now, five years ago in 2018, this may have worked. And this is the simple spend $5 a day on your ads, see what happens, and you might get a few sales and then you scale it from there. In this day and age, it just doesn't work. You'll see a bit of a theme in this video. A lot of the things I'm mentioning are feedback I've already given to some people who have messaged me. And again, I had a different person messaging me the other day, almost in a state of panic.
panic that they were rinsing their money and not seeing results and you know just panicking that they've built their website and it just wasn't converting firstly going back to the previous point their product images had watermarks all over them they didn't write a single product description it was just simply the aliexpress specification thing so you know country of origin china the plug type the battery type things like that that people don't really care about and there was just no other part to the description other than that so firstly i said to him improve the website but then he sent me a picture of his facebook ads manager and he had one campaign with one ad set at five dollars a day and he was getting about five to six hundred impressions a day and i said to him you're going to need to spend more money than that because you're going to need time as well to gather the data and let facebook machine learning optimize so you're really not going to get anywhere with just spending five dollars a day on facebook ads as well as any other platform like i said it may have worked five years ago but it certainly won't work now if you are struggling with cash to launch ads focus on the organic approach get some sales in with the organic reach method on tiktok instagram reels and things like that get some cash in and then slowly filter that into ads if you don't know what you're doing on facebook google or tiktok ads then you really shouldn't be running ads at all take the time to learn it me personally if i was in that position i would pick one ad platform learn it focus on it rather than spreading yourself too thin now obviously i have a google ads agency but facebook ads provide at the moment an equal return when compared to google for my own businesses i'm spending the same amount a day on google as i am facebook at the moment so i would pick one of those two if i were to start fresh today and another thing i have noticed is a lot of people are extremely obsessed with trying to figure out what the secret formula is to making this work and by this i mean shopify dropshipping there is no secret formula everyone is different everyone has different work ethics motivation drive and simply put it's just not for some people clearly over the years from certain content people have consumed they get the impression that it is a get rich quick scheme overnight success certainly not the case it takes time and you'll face a lot of losses and setbacks probably before you're going to find that consistency in profitability now don't get me wrong some people might get there straight away perhaps with a bit of luck on their side but there is no magic spell there's no secret that people aren't telling you so just push that to one side get it out of your brain that is not something to be worrying about and that also goes for things like focusing on which niche to start your business in in my personal opinion no niche works better than the other some niches are bigger and have a bigger market but if you tried and built a good quality business in any niche you can bring in customers as long as you're providing good service and a good product similarly to the ad platforms pick one learn it ideally something you're passionate about that always helps that's what i did with my two businesses or you can just start and go down the general store route that is something that is still working today me personally i started niche and my stores have slowly grown into more so a general store i feel like i've rambled on a bit for this one so don't obsess over a secret formula that you think people aren't telling you pick something work on it learn it and dedicate your time to it because that will set you high and above the competition and the final thing i want to mention is focus on building a proper business and not just a drop shipping store by this i mean provide your customers with excellent products brand your packaging once you start to scale reduce your shipping times by holding stock in the countries you're selling to so usa uk etc and most importantly provide good customer service bring those customers back make them purchase multiple times from your business have a good relationship with them build up great online reviews on Trustpilot and things like that and you'll find yourself with a proper business and not just a simple drop shipping store so many people build these pump and dump drop shipping stores and then they don't reply to their customer emails they get chargebacks then their paypal accounts get shut down then their stripe accounts get locked and then they'll blame everyone apart from their sales for those failures so i can't stress enough be good to your customers take care of them they've given you their money the least you can do is provide them with a good service so i hope you found this video somewhat useful i'm sure many of you are already taking care of many of the things i've mentioned but i felt the need to make this video today because the amount of people over the last couple of months that have messaged me on twitter and instagram and i've ended up saying these things to so many people and i'm sure there are hundreds if not thousands of people out there still making these mistakes so if you have enjoyed and you haven't already make sure to subscribe drop a like 
down below as well and I'll see you in my next video.